Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. My name is Samuel E. Molombe. If you're seeing me for the first time, and it is always a privilege to bring the word of God to you. Thank you so much for being here. Now, if you haven't joined our Christian community here on this platform, please kindly consider subscribing on this channel. It will bless you amazingly. If you are new here, you're seeing me for the first time, you're just getting our materials for the first time, we are a people that love the Lord. We teach the word of God here. We bring fresh prophetic words and teachings every day. And we just love God here. You are, you are going to be very excited to join us. To our subscribers, our partners, thank you so much. God bless you in Jesus' name. I saw this person trying to mess it up. I saw this person trying to mess something that concerns you. And I want you to listen very detailly because this is a specific prophetic word. And then I'm going to pray for you and tell you what the Lord wants you to do. Before we dive into this word, would you spare us a few seconds and let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for your beloved child that is watching right now. Thank you for this word that you have put in my mouth. I pray, dear Lord, that you give me grace to speak it as you have deposited my spirit and help them understand it and take action in Jesus' name. I saw a scenario where, you know, it's like someone was trying to do a good thing for you, maybe propose to you or give you a contract. Someone is actively trying to help you in your endeavor. But I saw somebody else that is bad mounting you, saying, you, maybe you cannot do it. Are you sure you've made the right choice? Are you sure this is the right person? Somebody is trying to mess up the breakthrough you have been praying for. You don't just have to pray. You have to watch and pray. Now, I notice that when the Lord wants to bless you, he sends a man into your life. But when the devil wants to destroy you, he also sends a man into your life. Now, you need wisdom to discern and to know who sends the person that is introduced to you. Our greatest pain can be traced to the entrance of a wrong man in our life. Our greatest joy can be traced to the entrance of a right person in your life. The Lord is saying there is somebody in your network that is not really impressed about you and is vocal about it. Okay, what do you do in a situation like that? You must understand the difference between integrity and reputation. Reputation is what men think of you. Integrity is what God thinks of you. You have to build relationships on integrity and not reputation alone. The scripture says, no, no man in the flesh. Don't be the person that looks at people's outward appearance to determine what they are. And teach the people in your life to do the same. Otherwise, they're going to listen to anybody saying any trash about you and might disconnect themselves from you for no just cause. The Lord will rain judgment on everyone that is using their mouth to speak negative about you and to exit you from rooms. Believe you me, many people have been exited from rooms and they have been stopped from rooms that they have not even got into because of the words of others. Just a simple doubt, a single word can plant doubt in the heart of someone about you and they never call you again. I've experienced that. I've seen it over and over again. A single word. Now, it takes, it takes three months to format a three-minute conversation. It will take three months of teaching to format someone's brain, mind, from a three-minute conversation. You can do your research on that. It takes three months to edit every day what a three-minute conversation destroyed. You have to be careful who you listen to and who you allow people to see you through their lens. It's very important. Make disclaimers from time to time and say, I'm not that close to this person as you think. I am not. We don't, he doesn't know me that much. Because some people are going to assume and then they're going to work with you from that. I pray that God will help you. In the name of Jesus. Every bad seed around you. Everybody who is using his mouth to back, back, back bite you, back, back mouth you, to get you out of homes. May God expose them. May God deliver you. In Jesus' name. Do you receive this word of gladness? 
would you do me a favor and share this to someone? Let it reach a loved one and let them learn what you have just learned right now. If you really got value from this video, don't be selfish. Please share it. The Lord bless you. Shalom.